Hi, how you doing? I'm Don Clayman, the Town of Hempstead Supervisor. Welcome to the Town of Hempstead's Kwanzaa Celebration. Let me start off by saying thank you. We hope you enjoy the program. But most importantly, I want to thank my friend on the town board, Senior Councilman Dorothy Goosby. She started this tradition 20 years ago, and you know what? We're continuing it. It's her leadership and dedication, and working alongside with me, that we're able to accomplish a lot. So sit back and enjoy the program. Jumbo, I am Senior Councilwoman Dorothy Goosby, and I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the town of Hempstead's 20th annual Kwanzaa celebration. Can you believe it's been 20 years since our very first celebration? So much has changed in our world since 2001. We saw the election of the first African-American president, Barack Obama, in 2008. In 2020, Kamala Harris entered the White House as the first female and African-American woman to hold the office of Vice President of the United States of America. We've certainly come a long way in these 20 years. What started as a small gathering of town officials and a few guests from the community has grown into one of the town's most anticipated and well-attended programs. For the past two decades, I've had the privilege to host this wonderful program and honor some of our community's greatest unsung heroes, men and women who not only personify the seven princes of Kwanzaa, but live out the principles in their daily lives. This year is no exception. Over the next seven nights, we will come together virtually as a community to celebrate these principles while honoring some well-deserving individuals from our community. Charlene Thompson, Esquire, my sorority sister, Alisa Tut of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Deidre Hepburn of Hepburn Electric Supply, John Boyd of the Roosevelt Chamber of Commerce, Dr. Stephen Lindo from Springboard Incubators, Jamise Desiree from Hofstra University, and pastors William Earl and Hazel Thomas of the St. John's Baptist Church of Lakeview, all incredible individuals who we will acknowledge each night for their extraordinary contributions. While I have this opportunity, I want to thank Supervisor Don Clavin and all my colleagues on the town board for your support over the years. To all of the town employees who have worked untirely to ensure that this celebration is a, is a success year after year. I want to thank you personally for your commitment and dedication. I want to also thank our guest speaker, former City of Long Beach Councilwoman, Anissa Moore, for agreeing to be part of our celebration. I am confident that our viewers will be enriched by your words of enlightenment. To all our participants and sponsors over the years, I want to say thank you. We truly could not have done this without your support. And all, and all of the residents who come year after year to experience our celebration in person, thank you for your continued support. It has really been an honor to serve you in this capacity. One of the significant and most recent challenges we've all faced is no doubt the COVID-19. COVID has forced us all to adjust our new normal. So after 20 years, unfortunately, we weren't able to celebrate in our traditional grand old fashion that what we've learned to be creative and think outside the box. 
Over the next seven nights of Kwanzaa, we will replay our celebration while highlighting the honoree that represents the principles of that particular night. We invite each and every one of our viewers to tell a friend to tell a friend that the town of Hempstead is celebrating 20 years in the Kwanzaa tradition. Please join us each night at 7 p.m. to learn something new and salute some of our community's greatest men and women. So again, I want to thank each and every one of our supporters for 20 fabulous years of a rich heritage rooted in traditions of our forefathers. It has truly been a pleasure. Thank you for tuning in tonight's program and enjoy the show. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you today to celebrate our African American heritage, culture, and family. As we embark on Kwanzaa 2021, we are in a turbulent time in our country. We are experiencing the spirit of divide and conquer. We have lived in a pandemic for the last year and a half. Even though we have experienced the loss of so many loved ones, family members, co-workers, and friends, we pray for their families. Forgive us for taking our many blessings for granted. And today we celebrate life as we walk through this new norm of virtual Kwanzaa celebration. Not coming together in person, not being able to greet and hug each other as we've done in past years. But we thank God that we're still here. Father, as never before, we recognize the importance of family and community because it teaches us that when we come together to strengthen our families and communities, and honor the lessons of the past, we can face the future with joy. And so we celebrate the first principle of unity and end with the last principle of faith. Let us be the first fruits of your spirit for a hurting world and count our blessings as we name them one by one. So we ask you to bless this program. We pray for our senior councilwoman, Dorothy L. Goosby, for her tenacity and her commitment to her community, her staff, and the entire Hempstead Town Board. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
homage to our ancestors by Dr. Sedwick Easley. Today we take this opportunity and this moment in the African spirit to pour libation. When we pour libation, we call on the spirit of our ancestors, of our elders. We pour libation as a sign of sacrifice. When we pour, we end by saying, Ashe, it is so on today. We usually pour for the north, the east, the south, and the west, as we call on the spirit of all of our ancestors and even our heroes of today and sheroes of today. Today we, we begin to pour, as you remember, the spirit of kings and queens whose blood run warm in our veins today from the continent of Africa, from the tribes and tribal leaders who, had, who understood their strength, their power, and understood what freedom really looked like to them, we pour today, Ashe. Today we pour, today, those come to a foreign land their names and freedoms were taken away from them, but had the spirit to continue to persevere in spite of hard times. We thank you today for the names of such like Marcus Garvey, of names of ancestors who are buried at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, whom names we don't know, but whom spirits we feel on today. We pour today the names of freedom fighters, sisters like Harriet Tubman. We pour today in the name of those like Sojourner Truth. We pour today in the names of those like Frederick Douglass. We pour today in the names of those like Nat Turner. And we pour today in the names of those we don't know, but Billie Holiday called them strange fruit, hanging from trees, I'll say. We pour today for those whom names we do know today. We pour today, this year, the names, the spirit of one who is with us today, name of Dorothy L. Goosby. We pour today in the names of those names like Michelle Obama. We pour today in the names like that of Kamala Harris, and so many others today of strength and power. Lastly today, we pour in the spirit of those who are unborn, those who are yet to come. We pour today honoring the spirit of tomorrow, those who shall break glass ceilings, those who will remember their history and understand from whence they come. Today we pour for babies, boys and girls, yet unborn, Asher. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nasset. 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 But in honor of you all, I wanted to speak to, to Kwanzaa, but I wanted us to have a little, a little kind of humba. Yeah. I'd love for you all to just, with this poem, it's called, It's the Drums. And when we walked in, we had all the drums playing, and I was trying to dance to the music. So I have a poem, and I need you to help me say, Ashe in between, okay? okay. Can you say, Ashe? Ashe. Ashe. Okay, I'll put you, I'll do this, and you'll say, Ashe. Ashe. It's the drum. Ashe. No imitation, our creation, what you feel is righteous, real, the drop. It's the beat of us, the heat of us, the groove that got the move of us, the drop. God's ordained and mighty drum. A, a bold, bad beat talking to our feet. Get you out to see the drum. It's the drum, excuse me, tongues. That's what I'm talking about. The past and present, some of us are being, being sung to us, the drum. I'm hearing it. I'm fearing it. I'm all, I'm all wrapped up. I'm wearing it. The drum. Stamping and stomping, exposing the power and passion of us, the who we are, have been, and be, beating out the us of we. It's the drum.
drum. It's the drum. It's the drum. A celebratory dance from Layla's Dance and Drum Company. Moja, unity, to strive for, to maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Umoja, it's such an honor and privilege to be here today, and I give great thanks to Senior Councilwoman Dorothy Gooseby, an icon in our community, a trailblazer. I stand upon her shoulders. When we think about unity, I always think about how we are all stronger together. And when we work together, we can get everything we need for our community. We don't have to settle for crumbs. Each of us can have a pie. You can have a pie and you can have a pie. But we have to do it together. 
Umoja. Unity. Kuji Jagalia means self-determination. To define ourselves, to name ourselves, to create ourselves, and to speak for ourselves. A thank you, because this is an honor. I thank you, Senior Councilwoman Dorothy Goosby, for this great honor and privilege.
up. I'm gonna keep the color back the blue. Ooh, kill him. I'm gonna take this man with so many in my pocket. Keep up. So many people all around me and they're working with the party. Keep up. Why you mad? Fix your face. In my book, they all be talking. Keep up. Play it slowly. Come on. Put your pinky. Raise up.
Unfortunately, Miss Deidre Helberg was unable to attend the filming of this celebration, due to unforeseen circumstances, however we still celebrate her and her spirit of excellence. We now light the candle for her. Ujima. Ujama, Cooperative Economics, to build and maintain our own stores, shops, and other businesses and profit from them. Ujama means to me, as the president of the Roosevelt Chamber of Commerce, our motto is that we are standing on the shoulders of our past in order to build a better future. The Roosevelt Chamber of Commerce strives for a great business environment and promotes pride in the Roosevelt community by being the voice of our business owners, professionals, community leaders, religious organizations, and our youth. We want to develop, strengthen, and grow a strong economic environment in the community of Roosevelt. NIA, purpose, to make as our collective vocation the building and development of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness, NIA. I've heard it said, and I've read multiple times, that if a person doesn't know the universe, then they don't know where they are. If you don't know where you are, then you don't know your purpose. This is from a Stoic philosopher. I've read that several years ago, and I'm here to let, tell you that I know my purpose. I am here because of God's grace, and only because of God's grace, to allow me to do what I do. I want to thank Senior Councilwoman Goosby for giving us the opportunity to share our talents, to better our community, and to live our lives with purpose. Nia. None other than Madame. Madame. Ma -ma -ma -ma. Put your Put hands, your hands together, together and welcome her as she does perfectly. Medley. I will make the darkness light before you.
creativity, to do as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than the way we inherited it. My name is Charmise Desiree and I've grown up in the village of Hempstead, the town of Hempstead, now residing in Uniondale, New York. I have always been a part of the community as a youth worker from the time I was 14 and I've seen the community evolve and I've been engaged from the time I was a teen up until adult years. And I'm honored to have this privilege to be honored this year in this particular ceremony to celebrate the 20th anniversary of this Kwanzaa celebration. Thank you to Senior Councilwoman Goosby and Supervisor Clavin and all of the council for this opportunity. I'm very grateful and honored to have been raised in this family by the late Bishop E.L. Woodside and Eva Woodside and be able to serve my community in various ways. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Happy Kwanzaa.
money, faith, to believe with all of our hearts in our parents, our teachers, our leaders, our people, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. And certainly Councilman Guzzi, my bride and I are grateful and we are honored. Not only do we believe in these principles, but we thank God for you, your integrity, and your character. And also we want to say in the struggle, we learn so many principles that we can apply and teach our children. So I thank you for uh, highlighting this, set, this time in our lives where we can reflect on the goodness of all that we went through. It wasn't good at the time, but when we look back, we see the goodness of all of it. It strengthened us, it built us up, it made us strong. And certainly we recognize that Imani, which is faith, we need for a time such as this. Well, happy Kwanzaa. As we reflect on this year, the seven principles of Kwanzaa, we pause to recognize this historic moment that we've been celebrating Kwanzaa for 20 years in the town of Hempstead with the help of our senior councilwoman, Dorothy Goosby. And so today, as we begin to celebrate, we recognize our struggles, the loss of many elders and loved ones, and our past victories. 
This year, we must heed the call to rededicate ourselves to the principles to use our strength and the faith of our ancestors to reclaim and to rebuild our communities. Well, how will we do that this year? We do that by holding on to the principle of Umoja, unity, to maintain unity as a family, as a community, and as a race of people. The spirit of Kwanzaa this year calls us to reconnect as well as to reconcile with our families as well as our friends to love one another, to value ourselves, to value our families, to speak life into our children, to build and to maintain unity in the community, to put aside our ongoing differences for the greater good of elevating and strengthening our community and our race. Where, it, where there is unity, you will find economic and social power. Where there is unity, you will find spiritual power. So my beloved today, we need unity in our churches, in our mosques. We need unity in our schools. We need unity and peace in our streets. The spirit of Kwanzaa today also tells us that this is a time for self-determination. This is a time to redefine, to name and to create and to speak for ourselves. The spirit of Kwanzaa calls us into forward thinking in 2022 to plan and to strategize together to build our own agenda, a collective agenda that will transform our communities. In 2021, leading into 2022, we must speak for ourselves. We must break the cycles of poverty and lack. In the words of Marcus Garvey, I encourage you to rise up, ye mighty race. The spirit of Kwanzaa is also calling us into Ujima, the collective work and responsibility to build and to maintain our community, to solve problems together. Together we can rebuild our community. Together we can form partnerships. Together we can build our businesses. Together we can strengthen our civic associations, our non-for-profits, our parent associations, our social and mental health workers. Together we can work to create a social, economic, and political force to build as well as to improve our quality of life. What would your neighborhood look like? What would your political voice sound like? The spirit of Kwanzaa calls us into Ujamaa, the cooperative economics of building and maintaining retail stores and other businesses to put once again to create profit from these ventures. The spirit of Kwanzaa calls us to recommit to building black wealth, to supporting our existing businesses, to dream big and work hard and to build our businesses. It's time to reclaim our neighborhoods. Can you imagine a mini black Wall Street in the middle of Nassau County? What would black Wall Street look like in Baldwin, in Hempstead? In, Re in Freeport, in Roosevelt, in Uniondale, in Elmont, in Long Beach, in any black space. Can you imagine what a mini black Wall Street would look like? But today's the day that we cease, that we cease our, our, our lack, that we seek our lack of apathy and that we move forward to progress and that we hold on and grab hold to the principle of Ujamaa. But we cannot achieve this without purpose. We cannot achieve this without Nia. We cannot achieve this without the commitment to work together collectively to build our communities so that we can restore the greatness of our African people. We must seek purpose and vision to take hold of all that is ours in this season. We must examine ourselves and our motives. For I is not an African principle, but we is an African way of life. When is the last time we use the word we in our community instead of the word I. Today we can hold on to the spirit of Kwanzaa. Our ancestors ask us to take purpose, grab a hold of purpose and work with purpose to rededicate and recommit ourselves to black health and wellness, to physical as well as mental wholeness. The mind and the body must be whole so that we can use our light and our strength to expose the oppression as well as the injustice that's around us, purpose. But we also need creativity. We need the spirit of Kumba to find new and innovative ways to leave our communities of African descent in more beautiful and beneficial ways than the community inherited. 
Creativity is in your DNA. Greatness is in your DNA. So how will you use it to empower yourself and to empower others? What is your legacy? Today, the spirit of Kwanzaa calls us to ask ourselves, what is our legacy? When we think about the creativity and the greatness of our ancestors, we must rise up. We must heed the call. But finally, the spirit of Kwanzaa calls us to a heightened level of faith, Imani, our belief in God, our family, our heritage, our leaders, and others that will lead to the victory of Africans around the world. This should be a global victory for us. Our faith has sustained us throughout the years, regardless of our spiritual affiliation. Within my Christian tradition, it tells me that faith without works is dead. So today I encourage you in the spirit of Kwanzaa to rise up. Rise up, my beautiful brothers and sisters. Rise up. The challenge is this, to use your faith and activate your faith to produce a greater work within our community. That will leave our next generation a little bit better than where we are right now. It'll leave us in a place, a better place, so that we can all uh, thrive as well as succeed. And so today, I hope that you focus on these principles. I hope that the spirit of Kwanzaa will strengthen you, will encourage you to fulfill all of the greatness, the creativity, all of the possibilities that are imagined today. And at this time, I hope that the spirit of Kwanzaa will fill your heart as well as your mind to rebuild and to restore our communities. May we use the faith and the strength of our ancestors and our love for one another to rebuild our communities and to bring us new victories. Go in peace. Harambe means let's pull together, right? And so when I, when I say Harambe, typically in Kwanzaa we do seven Harambe's, right? And you pull your, you're pulling down the strongholds, you're pulling down, you know, you're pulling down those blessings, right? Okay, and we're gonna do Harambe seven times. Come on guys, okay.